Okay, so um, I had to do something really, really good. Uh, <laughs> as you can tell, the camera quality is a little bit different. I'm actually using a better camera. This is my handy dandy uh, flip cam. Uh, sorry for the super close up. Um, but I'm not finished with my point. I had to kind of cut off my point where I was at as far as uh, what I was saying about the media. But I want to um, take a moment to just elaborate on what I mean as far as creating our own um information media network via the internet and our phones and the tools the same stuff that we use every day like most of us be on facebook and instagram and all of this stuff just fucking off killing time just cuz you know and then you got a lot of people that be on there that is their news social media keeps them informed because they can't tolerate regular news but when you have things like uh satire news sites and stuff like that like it is clearly clearly like it's a war it's, it's a war on us through the media through the information for one they have too much power they have too much control they dictate what they give to us you know what i'm saying like with the sandra bland situation there's no reason why the day after she was found dead we we had to wait for all of those tapes, for all of that, the media footage. Why is it weeks after and we just now getting footage from, like, what she was doing in jail? This some bullshit. That ain't nothing but the media. That ain't nothing but hype and propaganda. My thing is, like I said, shit is going on everywhere. It's just going crazy. And, I mean, there's really no city kind of untouched. It just ain't happening in your city yet. My thing is this right here. If I'm in Atlanta and something major go down right here in my backyard... What I'm saying is, get your camera, and just how you be on social media, sharing shit, share what's going on. Let the people know what's really going on from your perspective, from your lens, your views. Like, Sandra Bland went lying when she said that this camera, that when she said this camera that I hold in my hand is a powerful thing, she was not lying. If that's the thing, leave me with anything, she left me with that. We have to take, we have to take our communities back and we have to check the media. Because for one, the media ain't reporting the shit that we need to know. And then they reporting shit that ain't going to do nothing but piss us off. Like, okay, the fact that they showed graphic footage of Sam DeBose getting his head blown off in Cincinnati is beyond disrespectful. Like, what the fuck do you mean? If this was some, if this wasn't Sam DeBose, if this was another another man, fuck it. If this was a white man, y'all wouldn't have did that shit. I'm just keeping it. I'm just keeping it real. If this was a white man who was just sitting there and just happened to get his his head blown off by a black officer, you wouldn't have po you wouldn't have posted it like that. And then I'm. I'm still trying to figure out if the the photo that they showing of him is a mug shot because it does it looks like a mug shot and keep this in mind this was an innocent man who was sitting in his car who was being who was pretty much targeted by an officer over a front license plate who gives a fuck why the goddamn citation to keep him moving but like i said trade agreements and stuff like that that is going to alter the rest of our lives is going on this week she been going ham this week because they deciding about it and they got to keep us distracted long enough to sign them papers and to make sure that this deal is sealed. And baby, when I tell you this week has been hell, everything has been strategically planned, in my opinion, from how I see. Everything from them finally saying, okay, Bobby Christina gone, y'all. Everything is planned, y'all. We got to read between the lines and we must take our media back. As I said... I challenge everybody to stop supporting NBC, ABC, all of these major networks that ain't doing nothing but just feeding us bullshit that ain't going to do nothing but piss us off or feeding us the wrong stuff. Now, I'm not saying that what happened to Sam DuBose and what happened to Sandra isn't important. It's important. It's extremely important because it's 2015 and we going back to life pre-1965. Like, seriously. And as I stated before in another video... For a generation like mine, who grew up with no ceilings, who grew up without the, the Jim Crow signs and, and shit like that, who don't know nothing about Cointel Pro, the same generation who really don't know what the Panthers stood for, who actually accepts when people tell them, oh, they were just a militant group, which they were not, they don't know what the fuck to do. 
they scared. Like seriously, I sh I strongly feel like that. Like black or like my generation is scared, and they don't really realize the power that they have. Not yet. But the media ain't helping. As Sandra said, this thing that I hold in my hand is extremely powerful. Use it. We need to become our own media. And we need to report what's going on in our backyards. Now, just like with all these satire news sites and stuff like that, it really is going to come in when it comes down to you, the viewer, watching stuff. It really comes down to your power of discernment. And you really sifting out the bullshit because with everything comes some bullshit. But I honestly would rather trust a media outlet coming from the people where the action is going on in their backyards than to deal with reporters who ain't doing nothing but feeding us bullshit and exploiting situations. Take our media back. I'll be posting more on this later. Peace, y'all.